Welcome everyone to Henderson, Nevada, 89052. We have a listing that just hit the market here, 2,985 square feet. We're right off the corner of St. Rose Parkway and Maryland Parkway. About half a mile from the brand new Costco over here in Henderson, West Henderson to be exact. Three bedroom, three bath. This home's gonna be only $211 a square foot, built in 2013 on a 5,227 square foot lot. The great thing about 2013 means the AC units are only 11 years old and two massive units for this home. We have a gate going out back there. You can see that synthetic grass. Cute little backyard, very private. We'll be back there in a moment gas meter, PVB valve with cover. We like to see that. Oh yeah, and this home has solar power. The lease on this home for the solar power, it's only 115 a month. So a couple things with the solar power. So when you come into a home to look at it and it does have solar power, there's gonna be basically two things that are gonna happen. It's either gonna be owned or it's gonna be leased. And if the solar power is leased and you're essentially going to have to qualify for that lease and basically take over whatever plan they have in place now the way those usually work and there's a lot of different way they structure a lot of different ways they structure those leases but essentially you're going to have a monthly payment where you pay for the actual solar and then you're going to have an agreed on amount that you're paying for your electricity at a super reduced rate. The other option is the solar is paid for. They own it outright and you just get it with the purchase of the house. This is always the best scenario. And then essentially the way that works is your solar power provides the power back to the city and then you draw power from the city like you normally would and then they basically subtract what you've given back to the city. So it's the most efficient way to do it. Most people that have owned solar, their monthly electric bills are just very minimal, if they even have one at all. Sometimes you have more uh, out, you know, going out than coming in. And in that case, then you basically, you don't have a, an electric bill at all. But that's one of the things you'll get to look at when you purchase the home is we'll get a copy of that lease and then you'll, get be, you'll be able to see exactly what they're paying, what their monthly is, and if it's something you're interested in. So we walk in here, we have this designated living room here, sitting room that I'm standing in, separated by this wall that goes into the dining room. And these were built by American West in 2013. Great little neighborhood here. American West, during this time, put a lot of these glass panels in the walls. Just gives it some more light, breaks it up less. Very tall ceilings in the home, and it's gonna be your designated dining room. So yeah, 2,985 square feet, three bedroom, three bath. Stairway here going up. We do have carpet upstairs. Downstairs, we're just gonna have a mix of tile and this laminate. This laminate appears to be newer than the home itself. And you can kind of see that right here. Yeah, we walk back this way. The family room's gonna to be to the right or the TV room. We do kind of have this cut out here, but we'll be over there in just a moment. We have a pantry under the stairs here. I think just kind of modified into a pantry. Typically this would be storage, but it does have a light there. So maybe this is the designated pantry from the beginning. Interesting. And we have a powder room downstairs as well. So three baths, this is gonna be one of them. That same tile, we see the other restrooms. 
pedestal sink. So yeah, just a nice little powder room for your guests. And a laundry room that cuts through into the garage. Washer, dryer, refrigerator all come with the home. They installed a rod there for hanging clothes. Yeah, so it is a walkthrough laundry room. It's not your standard like straight walkthrough laundry room. It does have a little bit of an L shape. So you have the door on this side. A little bit larger than your typical walkthrough laundry room. And that will bring us out into this garage. <clears throat> Love the garage door on this home. Some professional storage installed as well. That's great. It doesn't take up any space and it looks very solid and sturdy. And then there's a restaurant style refrigerator out here. I don't know if this comes with the home. Um, that would be something we would check. Now, if, if say this did come with the home and you didn't want, here, want it here, we would tell the sellers, like, get that thing out of here. We don't want that here. That, we don't want that to be a problem for us when we move in, right? Or for you. So yeah, we would tell them, get that thing out of here if you don't want it. If it does come with the home, you do want it. Well, that's completely up to you. And then we have this tankless water heater. So we have our sediment trap here, gas line. Now again, we have the gas line kind of going up and around in a loop. The inspectors don't really want to see loops like that. They want to see it done more efficiently. And if you have to cut pipe and redo it, they'd rather you do that. Now again, this is going to be your comfort level. If it works and it's the way it is and you don't mind, you know, they just, the inspectors here just to point things out. Nothing is set in stone. There's time to negotiate. We can figure these things out. But yeah, again, it's just your comfort level, you know, and the expertise of the inspector, your realtor, and, and whoever else gets involved, you know, maybe a specialist plumbing or whatnot. We do have a water softener loop there as well. And then I wanted to show you this real quick too. So this is the watering schedule for Las Vegas. So. We're on a very strict watering schedule. So winter dates, November 1st through February 29th, you can only water one day a week and it's your, your assigned day. So you'll actually, depending on your neighborhood or where you live, you're gonna be assigned a day for your, um, for your watering. And then spring and fall are three days a week and they're watering for this particular home, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So three days a week from March 1st through April 30th and September 1st through October 31st. And these are great to have on your water meter. You don't have to think about it. You can just reset it. And setting the days on this is super easy. I'll show you that on another video. And then summer, you can water every single day except for Sunday. So no watering on Sunday ever, any time of the year. And we're just trying to, I guess, save that one day where no one uses water outside. Um, the other thing is you're not allowed to water in the summer between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. And the reason being, when it's 115 degrees outside, if you're watering at 2 p.m., your water is going to evaporate and be gone before it even hits the lawn, most likely. I mean, it's just, it dries up so fast out here. So that's why they have that in place. So you're going to want to water, you know, basically 6 or 7 a.m. and then, you know, at night, 8 p.m., something like that. So yeah, that's the watering schedule. And that's, this is non-negotiable. That's from the Southern Nevada Water Authority. They do drive around, they do check homes in Las Vegas. If you're watering on Sunday, you'll get a fine. If you're watering more than one day a week, you'll get a fine. If you have a leak in your yard, they'll stick a little flag there and let you know that you have a leak and you need to get it fixed. If you don't get it fixed, you'll get a fine. The other thing the water authority does is they monitor your water usage. So say you're using X amount every single month for six months, the next month you use 10 times the water, they're gonna come out to your house and find out why. Usually that's like a water main leak or something's going wrong and that's why they let you know. But yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be the, uh, the water authority that actually comes out and lets you know that something's going on wrong with your house. So that's always a good benefit. 
So yeah, stairs not facing the door, long carpeted stairway with the railing, little glass window to the left there, and we'll head up the stairs. The primary bedroom is going to be off to the right here. And we do have this large loft. Now this house says it has a den, but I didn't see it yet. So maybe we'll find a den, but it's three bedrooms, three bath. Here's a giant loft for you. A couple front facing windows. Yeah, very large loft, good size here. Let's see if we have the dimensions for the loft. I need to start bringing my measuring tool with us on these tours. I do not see the dimensions for the loft, so let's guess. About 15 by 12. That's my guess. What do you guys think? Put your guesses in the comment below for how large this room is. And if we have 20 people that comment how large this room is, I'll come back and measure it. And <laughs> we'll see who gets the closest. Recessed lighting. Nice little landing. More of those glass panels. I told you American West loves those. And American West is a division of Pulte. Fingerprints all over the attic hatch. That's our, our pet peeve lately. <laughs> and it's not the homeowner's fault. It's the... AC guys, like, come on, wear some gloves, people. Closet over here to the left. Just some extra storage, linens, whatever you need there. And back to the first bedroom. This bedroom is going to be 14 by 13, it says. But again, I'm going to disagree. It's more like 12 by 12 by 11, something like that. It's, a, it's not 14 feet wide, but that's okay. It's a good sized bedroom. You can fit a queen bed in here, some furniture, no problem. I couldn't get the light on. I apologize. It's the light bulbs burn out. So we just, we get a dark room here and actually the primary bedroom, the light's not coming on either, but I think it's a little brighter in there. The sun's going to be in the front of the house right now in the morning, so we're not getting much natural light in this room. Full bath shared by the two bedrooms here. Just check that for you. We always got to take a look. So the countertop matches this tub shower combo here. Extra wide tub. Anytime you see that little seat area, it's just usually the tub's about six inches to a foot wider, depending. But yeah, that's a little indicator that the tub is wider than just your normal uh, porcelain tub. Seems to be pretty clean in this home overall. Let's see what's behind the door here, the toilet. So little water closet area there. Yeah, built in 2013, listed for $630,000 here. And then we have the second bedroom. This one is much bigger. This one's an ensuite. It has the bathroom attached. And this one's gonna be 18 by 13. So very large bedroom, depends on how you want to set it up. I would probably use this maybe as like an office kind of area over here, sitting room, and then use, you know, the other side as my, where the bed goes and things like that. The coaxial's on the wall behind me. So technically that's the TV wall, but again, that doesn't really mean much in today's day. With these smart TVs, you don't, I don't know how many people let me know in the comments if you use cable with coaxial or if you're on some form of wireless system. So yeah, just comment, I use coaxial or I'm wireless. Yeah, cause I'm, I'm kind of curious to how many people are, 
are stuck to the wall with the coaxial cable. So the last thing you want to do is run a coaxial cable around and down the wall. It's just never a good look. All right, and then into the bathroom here for this bedroom. It's labeled as three baths and there's four <laughs> and no den. So maybe they mistook the bathroom for the den. It's okay. It's okay. Things happen and that's why we go here and that's why we verify measurements, verify rooms because you just, you never know. It could have just been a typo. There's a lot to put in when we input these listings into the MLS, which is the multiple listing service. But there's a lot of information that we need to input. And sometimes it's, it's the tax record too that's just updated wrong. So that's always something we could look into. There is a closet for this bedroom. It's in the bathroom. So yeah, technically still a bedroom there. Yeah, so what do you think of this? If you like my tours, you like my contents, please just take one moment, hit that little thumbs up for me. It helps my channel out so much and it makes me very happy when you do that. So thank you very much. I really appreciate everyone's support and you taking time to spend with me every day on these home tours. And speaking of every day on these home tours, I'm the only realtor in Las Vegas bringing you home tours every single day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday sometimes too. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss my tours. I put these out every day for you. I get up early. I come out here. I tour homes in the morning, go back to the office and get to work. So if the lighting's a little off here, I apologize. I opened the window as much as I could. The, the ceiling fan light is not coming on. There's two places for ceiling fan or light. I don't know if they're both structurally sound for ceiling fans, but definitely two areas for light. That's what that is. And uh, yeah, because I imagine even if that ceiling fan light was on, it's not going to give off enough light for this large of a room, which it is a large room, 20 by 18 in here. And I believe those measurements. This thing is massive. So it looks like your bed would kind of be over here. We have the TV behind me. Yeah, what do you think of this primary? Very large, tall ceilings. Well, what do you think of this primary if you can see it? I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Because of the lighting, I do my best. Thank you for sticking through some of these funky lighting situations. So we do have a little spot to the left here. Perfect place for dresser. You know, a big arm wall, or some, arm wall, something like that. How do you say it? Arm, arm wall? You know what I'm talking about. We have a gigantic walk-in closet. I mean, look at this thing. This is with plenty of light. Wow, that is, that is one large closet. So if you're looking for a large primary closet with a large primary bedroom, because you say 2,985 square feet, with three bedroom, where's all the space? Well, it's in the bedrooms. You saw that last bedroom was huge and this one's, you know, just even bigger than you would expect for a large primary. And then a very large primary bathroom as well. And I actually really like this shower. I'm gonna show you that in just a sec. But we have dual mirrors, sinks, faucets on either side of the bathroom. This tile floor we've seen in the other restrooms and yeah just giant mirrors here water closet with a curtain how do you feel about the curtain versus a door it wasn't built with a door so there's no door for privacy they put up a curtain i don't know how do you feel about the curtain there versus no curtain and this is that shower I really like this open concept shower. Now, this is really thinking ahead in 2013. Big window up top there letting in light. We have the rain shower. And then yeah, this, this open concept shower. I do really like this, pretty cool. How do you feel about this shower? No doors or glass to wipe down, kind of hidden back there in the corner. 
yeah, this is going to be your primary bathroom here and walking back through this primary bedroom and that huge walk-in closet. All right, I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. If you or anyone you know is thinking about buying, selling, investing, just have any questions about real estate, give me a call. I answer my phone. You can sign up on my website as well, HendersonNevadaHomesForSale.com. And you can go on there, you can search homes, you can save homes, you can sign up, you can contact me directly through that website as well. Okay, so into this main living space here. So we do have, I kind of avoided this side, but we do have a little shelf here and then this open space looking into the, I like to save the rooms for you later. You don't peek at them earlier, but yeah. So a little mud room here as well. I love the wood on this bench and coat, coat hooks, shelving. Yeah, just a lot of stuff there. And into the great room here. So this is definitely the traditional great room. We have the family room area, TV room, great place for a centered TV. I love the design of the ceiling. We've seen this in a couple rooms there. And we actually have one here that you could paint a different color. Well, it is a different color. It's just not that much darker, but I would do that kind of in a darker color just for some contrast. But yeah, a lot of little detail in this home. You can make it your own. And you know, that's no exception up there. Some recessed lighting. This, I would almost guarantee, is structurally sound for a ceiling fan. So you could add that in instead. Most of these great rooms, you need a big ceiling fan there, in my opinion. Yeah, this is going to be your TV wall here, kind of outlined by the, the structure there. And I think you have plenty of room for at least an 85 inch TV. And yeah, so this is the traditional great room where the kitchen, and the family room are all one space. Now your kitchen nook is going to be this little spot here designated by those two lights, typically in front of the glass slider. And then you have a massive island here as well. Stainless appliances, well, two stainless appliances. We'll get around to the refrigerator in a moment. Stainless double basin sink. Let's check this thing out. Oh, comes with some glassware, all right. So definitely not new, seeing as if there's glasses in there, but it is a Samsung. So great quality, big window looking out back. We do have our GFCI there. Are the kitchen cabinets? Well, they do have the nice hinges, but I don't believe they're soft clothes and they are not. Again, only $211 a square foot. Beautiful gas range here. You have the five burners, the oven. This is Samsung as well. Definitely newer than the home also. Little microwave stuck in the corner there. You can always change that out to whatever you need. These American West homes have these big open areas for the stove and they don't really leave room for microwaves. So they have these little cutouts. Sometimes they're in the island. But yeah, we see that with these American West homes. So there is a designated pantry. So that little spot under the stairs is just extra storage, which is great. I might put, you know, bigger pots and pans or maybe some appliances there. But yeah, good sized pantry here with the door. So we'd love to see that. We answered our own question. And then the Whirlpool refrigerator comes with the home as well. So yeah, that's going to be your big open kitchen. They do have these really nice pendant lighting as well. Some crystals on there. Lots of windows looking out back and we do have an over a covered patio back here with the overhang. Doggy door in the slider. Don't see that too often. If you have a small pet, that's going to be really nice to have. And this aluminum wood patio cover with ceiling fans, 
Really nice, small backyard, super easy to take care of. Synthetic turf, very clean. They have painted the concrete out here as well. So there's gonna be the gate going out to the left side. Yeah, just not, not much out here to take care of, so that's great. It's this fruit tree in the corner here. It's like a lemon tree there. And then you have the side yard, which they've made into a little dog run here as well, so. Or something back there where they have it fenced off. You can see the drain line there as well for the back. Yeah, that's it. I'm Andrew Giant. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow.